unlike previous versions of the PlayStation or other um, game boxes, the PlayStation was designed to be a home computer as well. And in addition to the game OS, you can also run an entire Linux operating system. So last year, Sony contracted our company to develop a version of Yellow Dog Linux, which is our product, for the PlayStation 3, and that's what we're running here today. It's unique because the PlayStation can now be, for, for, an independent, for a, a home user, it can be the, a movie player, an MP3 player, um, you can watch your, your, your home videos on it, you can also play games, and now it's your home computer as well. So we have over 2,000 applications that ship on our single install DVD, um, everything from web browsers to your open office, which is a Microsoft Office compatible suite, uh, web browsers, email clients, game, uh, pretty much everything you need. Basically, you got a web browser. This is Firefox, which is a very famous uh, open source web browser. And um, we've got a little thing running in the background that tells you about the, how the CPU is doing and all different applications that are running. A little bit more geek oriented, but it's kind of fun to look at how things. We've got game running. Um, game is your, uh, your instant messenger. And um, we've got a lot of applications, accessories, games, graphics, internet programs, office suites, uh, programming tools. And what's really nice about the PlayStation is that it's the same processor that's inside some of the really high-end IBM systems. So you can use the PlayStation as a development box and also as a front end to larger performance supercomputing systems that are built on the cell processor. So it serves a dual function for home users or for hardcore developers. It has some limitations in terms of the amount of RAM, but it's not really an issue with Linux for your general desktop environment because Linux is just so efficient. Um, in terms of the multiple cores, having nine cores on a single CPU, CPU is absolutely incredible, and when you optimize your applications for those cores, we're seeing incredible performance. Um, there's an open, uh, an open source product called Mesa, and it's a graphics library, and in four days we ported Mesa to the cell processor, and it's now running 80 times faster than the Intel Woodcrest. So when you power on the PlayStation, you have a choice. You can either run the game OS to run your games, or you can choose Linux, and then you can just boot back and forth, so every time you boot, you have a choice of which one you want to run. And both of them are running native on the hardware, so it's actually running the full operating system. It's not an emulation. Sony actually designed it to do this, so the game OS has a partitioning tool, and it actually lets you repartition your hard drive so you can have both operating systems. They don't overlap. So it's really nice. It works very well. Plenty of room. Yellow Dog, um, the basic installation that we conduct by default is only is less than two gigabytes, so it's not that much space. So even if you only have the 20 gigabyte drive and you use the, the game OS to partition at 50-50, there's still plenty of room. And if you get the 60 gigabyte drive, there's still plenty of room. And we've heard about people online installing 250 gigabyte drives in their PlayStation, so already there's, there's some pretty amazing expansion opportunities. The question is really about whether or not there's accelerated graphics capabilities with the GPU. And the NVIDIA chip right now, we do not have access to it, so we're running everything in frame buffer. When that, if or when that is available, we're working hard to make that available, um, then there'll be an opportunity to run truly accelerated 3D games, and that'll open up a whole new ball game of what you can do under Linux, bringing the gamers back to Linux on the PlayStation, giving them the diversity of both Game OS and Linux for high-performance games. We're trying. We're trying hard. And it's been fantastic to, to open up this possibility for people. Honestly, I've never been to a show that's so Windows-centric. In our world, everything's Linux, and so it's been fun to show people what Linux is about, and actually, some of these people have never used Linux before, which surprised me. So it's been fun to open up that door and get a whole new user base excited about about Linux on the PlayStation.